morning. Just finished fueling up. Right now there's a situation in uh, Queens where I usually load to take loads to Brooklyn. The, the machine that unloads the barge is not working. So right now I have to go to the Bronx empty to get a load of sand and bring it back to Brooklyn. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna do from there. get this load done nice and early and get it over with. Oh yeah, the operator is there. They are loading right now, so we're in good shape. So we get to beat the traffic and we get to cross the bridge early. You know what I mean? So we're in good shape right now. Just waiting by the scale. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're looking good right now. Sam! Good morning, Sam! Loaded and gone, you feel me? See you on Brooklyn. Can I go in? Fuck, man. I was just, uh, I was watching the video. You gave it to me. No, man, that's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, can I go in or no? <laughs> uh, no, 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 I went to the Bronx, the other trucks brought uh, sand from the other plant in Queens. So they're just getting as much sand as they can. So as you can see, it's full right now. Queen Nashville? So I 
just got word that they're gonna need me here all day, so I'm just gonna go. The machines are actually up right now at the uh, at the loading spot over here in um, Long Island City. So I'm just gonna be going from Long Island City to Brooklyn all day because the machines are back up, which is good. I'm actually happy about that because this is my favorite thing to do. I like to chill and um, work here local in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? I like working in Queens too going to Jamaica and all that but this is this one is like close to where I park you know what I mean you know what the thing is Hold on. look at how full the sand thing is I'm pushing it trying to make space for me to go Just got my first load down. About to go for number two. Load number two now in LRC. About to pick up some sand. I mean, backing into the scale now. with load number two. You see what those animals just did? Truck backing in and they go past me and do that to the poor guy. Let them back in. Like, you're driving the truck too. I don't understand. Just animals, bro. Look at the bike. Started going on the sidewalk. Oh, shit, 
That's true, Mango. Yeah. Oh shit, that's wow, that's crazy, son. Wow. I kind of felt that way, Mango. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I tried to say it. I said, I tried to say it. No me quieren comprar. Yeah, word, bro. Que no me quieren comprar nada. Especially gay. Now we just gonna keep going back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Look at this long line of cement trucks. Look at how busy it is today. Look at that. That's how busy it is. The line goes down the block. Like two blocks. The line of cement trucks waiting to get no real. That's how busy it is. Which is a good thing. That means more work for, for us dumb trailers. You feel what I'm saying? We're just gonna keep going all day until we can no more. You feel me?
Yeah, picking up load number four, you know what I mean? Lit. It's 11 to 16 a.m. I probably have like one or two more loads left for the day. And then we call it a day. Made a little money, you know what I mean? And, and call it a day and go home. You feel me? Lunchtime. Ain't that healthy about today's meal. Smash burger. Feel me? Load number five right now. I'm about to back up and dump this. You know what I mean? Um, after this, I'm gonna take a return load back to uh, Brooklyn and I'm gonna park. That'll be load number six. You feel me? Basically, you know, y'all already know the drill. Same thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, on back and forth or whatever. You feel me? That's why y'all story time. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm gonna tell y'all this story from when I was a rookie driver. You feel me? I had just finished getting my CDL and it was tough to find a job. And this is before I landed the wine route that I had. Someone had referred me to a guy that he needed a driver for freight accident. A guy that needed a driver hauling freight in a box truck. You know what I mean? So I call the guy and I'm like, I heard you're looking for a driver. Do you need a driver? Whatever, whatever. He goes, yes, when can you start? I'm like, I could start yesterday, today, whenever. You know what I mean? So um, he was like, okay, meet me here on such and such day. And then you come and grab the truck. So at this time, you know, I learned how to drive stick. I learned how to drive at 18 speed. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too good. You know, I just learned the basics with my brother. I didn't get really get the experience and get that smooth shifting like i always say you're not gonna get you're not gonna really learn until you're by yourself so i go to meet up with this guy he tells me the truck is at this address the key is in there i'll meet you there um let me know when you get there so i get there i call him i'm like he's like turn on the truck he was like meet me at the gas station up the road so i could fill up the tanks on the truck the truck is a five-speed manual box truck, 26 foot, 25,000 uh, pound gross weight, right? 
So I turn on the truck, so I'm like, I'm gonna go meet him at the at the, uh, the gas station, right? The truck is on. I go and I, I, I clutch to put it in first gear so that I could take off. And whenever I would release the clutch, the truck wouldn't go anywhere. It was just jumping and it was just shutting down. You know what I mean? The owner wasn't there and I like that. So the truck is shutting down every time. So I'm like, yo, what is going on? Why is the truck not moving? Am I doing something wrong? And I would put it in gear, try to go, and it still wouldn't go. So I'm like, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't want to be embarrassed, so let me go. So I leave and I call my brother that's been driving trucks for over 20 years at this time. He's the one that taught me how to drive, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, bro, I had to leave that job because the truck wouldn't take off. Every time I released the clutch, I had it in gear, the truck wouldn't take off. So then he goes, what's the truck? Is it air brakes or spring brakes? And I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot to release the brakes. So when I said, I said, oh shoot, let me go back. So that now the guy is calling me because it's been a while now. It's been about 15, 20 minutes since I got to the truck and he's at the gas station up the road. And he calls me and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right there. I just had a little emergency. I had to go stop at the pharmacy and get some, some pills, you know, cause I, I'm, I'm having a migraine or whatever. So I'll be right there. When I get there, sure enough, it was the brakes and it wasn't even air brakes it was a spring brake so it wasn't even a cdl truck so i start driving i'm all rusty and all that i'm driving i'm double clutching just to get the gears in because i couldn't float you know what i mean and i'm just driving and i finally meet him at the gas station we then spoke about where he needed me to go this this and that but when i tell you that was the most miserable job ever for what I was getting paid, 125 a day to go to New Hampshire, to go to Connecticut, to go to Boston. Yeah, that was the worst, you know? And one day I'm in the truck and I'm heading up. Oh my gosh, she just, wow. Unbelievable. Lady in a moped just cut me off right through my blind spot in between me and the park car. But one day, I was in my uh, I was in the truck and I'm I'm hauling a load and I get to Queens, I believe it was Queens, borderline Queens, Long Island. I'm driving local, stopping at red lights or whatever. And every time I would stop at a red light, I'm praying that the the truck doesn't stall out on me because it was a bunch of hills. Uh, on that road so i'm praying that the truck doesn't roll back or stall on me okay, so i stalled a few times whatever and every time i would try to take off you could smell the clutch burning you could smell it bro and i was just getting by getting by each like it's like this is the first time that i'm loaded like so eventually i get to this red light and it's on a steep hill like this steep hill on northern boulevard and I just can't take off. The truck just keeps stalling on me. And I'm getting nervous. The people behind me are honking the horn. The truck is rolling back. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I see a truck coming opposite side of traffic. And I will never forget this. He's coming opposite side. I'm like, I'm just gonna have to ask him to bring it up the hill for me, this truck driver here. So I wave him down. All embarrassed. I was embarrassed, but at this point, it was I had to do it. I wave him down, and I'm like, "Yo, I just want to know if you can help me just bring the truck up the hill, cause I can't. I keep stalling." So he gets in the truck. He didn't know I was a rookie, and he goes, "Oh, I think the clutch is messed up, cause I smell it burn." So then he goes and he engages the clutch, and he starts taking off, and he's like. Nah, yo, the clutch is actually good. You just probably don't really know how to drive it like that. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm new, whatever. So he goes, look, watch my feet. And no one, not even my brother, ever explained it to me like this. He pushes down on the clutch like this, and then he puts it in gear, and then he's like, let the clutch go very slow. And once you feel like the truck wants to move, then you just let go of the brake all the way. So I did just that. I mean, 
I, I listened to just that. And from that day on, I never stole again in that truck. So I know there's things out there that a lot of rookies go through. You're not alone. Everybody's been there. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody's been in different situations as a new truck driver. You feel me? And that wasn't even on the semi. That was a box truck. That wasn't even a CDL truck. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, I know a lot of people go through these things and sometimes you probably just want to give up and all that. But yo, just keep going. The way you're going to learn is by making those mistakes. But from that day forward, I just became you know, a good driver, like, you know what I mean? Like, that always stuck with me, and eventually, I just, after I got my first truck driving, real truck driving job, I learned how to float, even though that's how I learned originally, but I learned how to really float and get the truck and the gears in sync and all that, you know what I mean? Um, and become smooth with it. I didn't have to use the clutch no more, you know? But it was during that job, where I got the wine route, right? They called me about the wine route. Bro, I, I didn't even go pick up the last load that I had to pick up in my truck, bro. I just left and went, and I got the wine route. But they were like, you gotta be here by three. If you want the wine route, you gotta be here by three so we could talk to you. Bro, I flew over there with the box truck. I gave the guy his truck back, and I never looked back after that. You feel me? There's things that all truck drivers go through, you feel me? Every truck driver goes through things in the beginning. You feel me? But yeah, that's just a funny story that I will never forget. Like, I laugh about it all the time because I'm like, yo, that's just a, a, one of those stories. You feel me? And now I'm a heavy hauler, my own truck. So just gotta just take these obstacles as they come, especially as a new driver and just take them head on and just learn from these things. You feel me? If there's anybody out there who's had similar situations or has a story, share with me in the comments. You feel me? Let me know your story, your funny story, or something that's happened to you as a rookie, or whatever, any stories. You know what I mean? Let me know. But yeah, that's my story for the day. Now we just had to pick up the last load, you feel me? And, um, and park up. I mean, a chill day, you know, I was thinking of, I'm like, yo, I, I'ma just work until, like, until these places close, because you never know if there's no work tomorrow, you feel me, so I gotta take it as it comes, and if there's work today, I gotta work the full day, none of that parking early, you know, so as long as the customer says so, I mean, but, yeah, man, we just grinding it out. That was the sixth and final load picked up. Now we go dump it. Feel me? Materials full, sand is full, stone is full. I mean, and that's gonna be the day today. You feel me? If you like this video, you like my content, like, share, and subscribe. You feel me? And if you like this hat, follow at heavy haulers underscore on IG and DM me to place an order. I'll see y'all next time.